Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, I'm actually returning to a call that I went to a few days ago and adjusted a defrost board. And in this one, I go back to replace it because my adjustment didn't keep it from freezing. And I go over the defrost board in a little more detail. Here we go. Guys, we are back out on this one to replace the defrost board. And as you can see, it is still freezing. Ice all over it. Y'all see all that ice? And it's not defrosting the way it's supposed to. So we're gonna replace the defrost board. The adjustments I made the other day apparently are not working. So we're going to take this out, put in our new defrost board with new sensors. So I'll go over a little bit of that as we're doing it. All right, that's my ambient temperature sensor and this is my defrost sensor. All right, on these boards, let me go over them a little bit. These are my two sensors. And as you see, those unplugged from the board. On this one, this bundle of wires right here, that's my sensors. They don't unplug from the board. All right. On these boards, you have your thermostat wires hooked up here, your contactor wires, and your reversing wires for your reversing valve right here. And these are the where the condenser fan motor has broken the power to it so it can shut off the condenser fan when it goes through defrost. This is for your outdoor temperature, outdoor air temperature, and this is the outdoor coil temperature. That's why it says OCT and OAT. And over here, you see, I still can't adjust that no lower. This, this right here is my adjustment pins. And it goes from 80 to 50. So I have it on 50, which is the most frequent I can do. All we got to do is now hook it up.
First, I'm going to plug up my outdoor air temperature sensor. And that is just going to go through. We don't want that to touch the coal, so I'm going to leave it up here. And this is our coil temperature sensor. It goes right there. Put it back where, where I took it off at. Right there. Now let's get some zip ties. All right, so I'm about to test the defrost on this. I have left the condenser fan motor disconnected right here so the condenser fan motor won't come on. And then I'm gonna jump out these test pins and see if it'll go through defrost. actually went into defrost a whole lot faster than it did yesterday so these sensors may have been out of calibration all right it's still going through defrost mm. as soon as this comes out I plan on checking pressures Alright, it just came out of defrost. Let's see what my high side pressure is going to be. This is an R22 unit, so that's that's normal.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow.